Hello everyone, welcome back to Deponia Part 5! And I think I, fi I figured it out. Earlier, we were supposed to get something to fill up the air balloon so I can open up that one pipe in Winslow's house, right? This is laughing gas, and it's heal so it's some sort of healing making the balloon bigger, so... Figured it might work. Then, we put the hook to the balloon. And la la la. That's a miniature version of my free floating crane. I wonder what happened to the original. I never did find that cow. <laughs> cow. Okay. Still can't get into there because I need the sedatives from the doctor, which I have no idea how to get from him. Crap. Locked. Distrust everywhere. Let's see. Here. But we still gotta get the. There's a key in here. I stashed it in there for an emergency. Oh, damn! Yeah. Yeah, now how am I supposed to get in there? I don't have any way. Yep. For now, I don't think there's any way, because, yeah. Okay, he goes in Winslow's house, go in here, now open up the furnace, and let's see here, voila, now we got it. This wasn't half as funny as I thought it would be. <laughs> yep. And downstairs is probably all done. Yeah, get the holes in. Kick the pipe. What? Yay, now we flood his house. Poor Wenzel. His tender heart will break when he finds out that the well in his basement isn't real. <laughs> Quick, I don't want to miss the moment. Uh, I just double clicked to get there fast. Wenzel? I'm down here! Come quick! You won't believe your eyes! <laughs> Poor Wenzel still thinks he struck water down there. Instead, his cellar is simply flooded. Bad luck. What's up, Wenzel? I struck water! Well, Wenzel, maybe you shouldn't get too excited. Sometimes you just think you struck water, and then it's just... Wait a second. You really struck water. Unbelievable, isn't it? I am rich! But that's impossible. And it's all thanks to you. Well, thanks to your father's divining rod. You are a true friend. You know what? You shared with me, and now I'll share with you. Really? Of course. I share with you this very moment, the moment of triumph. Let's enjoy it together. What's that grinding noise? It's not my teeth. I see. I'm rich! Grinding noise. That's probably a hint. Hey, that's my dad's divining rod. Okay, I can interact with that. So let's grab it. There's nothing else to do. Maybe something up here. Uh, just a furnace. That looks weird. And unnatural, so let's not do that. Okay, let's get out of this noisy house. Hmm. That's pretty much what we set to do. He's no longer in his house, and now he's in the mayor's office, so let's do what? Ah, Rufus, I believe you may very well want to congratulate me. The mayor was very excited to hear about my discovery. 
He believes the water vein might make Kuvak one of the three richest settlements in the southern quadrant. Right now, he's hearing one more applicant, but for now, it looks like I'll be the one. Goal is supposed to live at your place? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. What? Now that I have a water vein on my property, I'm one of the most influential people of Kuvak. And with an orbit pixie in my house, I might even become an honorary citizen. Who knows? One day, I might even follow in the footsteps of your father. But I was the one who saved her. And I'm the one who gave her shelter. Rufus, you don't even have a house. So how do you suppose you'll convince the mayor? Well, I, uh, I'm, uh, um. Next up, number 63, please. If you remember, we got 63. Yay. Rufus, so how do you suppose you'll convince the mayor? Well, I, uh, I'm... Uh, That's something we need to work on, obviously. Um... Maybe the tranquilizer is for the mayor? Now it's for these other people. I tried it before. Hey, that's my dad's divining rod. Okay, yeah, I'm not too certain what's going on now. Cause what's... Okay, we are at the mayor part now. Okay, so I'm messing quite a bit of stuff. Okay, I, oh, okay, I see. That's the other thing that needs to be grinded up that, that I don't have. Let's take a look at the list. Okay, got this, got this, and it's the... Okay, the extra... Okay, the stimulant needs to go into the grinder. Gotcha. Okay, gotcha. And this other stuff goes into the... Um... Uh, so I need to get to that stuff into the doctor. So that what goes in there. I was thinking about that too uh, when I ended the last episode. Well, I don't think there's much left to do because I can't continue on the um, I can't continue the creation of the coffee without the doctor's keys, and maybe doing this will allow me to get the keys from him. Come on. Lotech, I have to talk to you. It's about... Lotech? Uh, what? Who's disturbing me? Whoa. Are you really sleeping in your desk? This is the mayor's traditional resting place. Before me, your father used to sleep in here. That was before he betrayed the community. Huh. Well, I can totally understand that. Well, he left you behind, too. Be, be that as it may, who sleeps in a desk anyway? Admittedly, the desk isn't aligned correctly with the planet's magnetic field, but your father had a device installed to correct that. What? That makes no sense. I'm here for the Elysian girl. They all are, but you're too late. The hearing is over. Over? But it was me who found her. As far as I know, it was Hannick who found her. Well, I found her first. And you just left her lying there? Uh, no, it was different. With your attitude, you wouldn't even stand a chance if the hearing wasn't over already. But, but I saved her life. I find that hard to believe, considering you're responsible for 90% of all injuries that happen in Kuvak. Well, but... 90% of those have been my own injuries. Listen, Rufus. Whenever chaos breaks out in Kuvak, you are responsible for it. As far as I know, you might even be responsible for that girl falling from the sky. Uh, no, it was different. With your attitude, you wouldn't even stand a chance if the hearing wasn't over already. But I have to help her return to her world. To Elysium? <laughs> 
That's a good joke. You should know better than anyone else that there's no way to leave Deponia. Nothing that ends up on Deponia will ever leave again. My dad made it. That's neither probable nor verifiable. Mm. I know that's what you'd like to believe, but I believe it's more likely that your father ended up crashing into some trash heap. With your attitude, you wouldn't even stand a chance if the hearing wasn't over already. That's too bad. How exceptionally reasonable of you. I've made my decision, and there's nothing you can do about it. I'm starting to run out of good arguments here. Finally! There is a god! Are we done here? I really need to go to the assembly hall. You bet. Oh, now what? Hmm. The girl belongs to me. Wrong. I've already made the decision. I'm starting to run out of good arguments here. Finally. There uh, is a god. Yeah. Are we done here? I really need to go to the assembly hall. You bet. Oh, now what? Uh. I officially want to deregister my residence here on Deponia. <laughs> You don't even have your own residence, do you? You're mooching off your former girlfriend. Yeah, well, at least I'm not sleeping in the drawer of my desk. Watch your tongue, son. This is the mayor's traditional resting place. Huh. If only your father were here to put you in your place. You know darn well he worked here before me. Oh, yeah, you mean he slept here? You don't even know what real work is. If you'd put in a little more effort, you could have followed in your father's footsteps. My father's footsteps led away from this dump, and I'll get away from this rock too. And you think you'll reach your goal without a serious effort? <sighs> I'm beginning to understand why he didn't take you with him. Ouch. Wow. What? Instead of just moving the desk, my dad preferred messing with the planet's magnetic field? Well, he was the most egocentric and stubborn person I've ever met. Hey, that's a lie! Oh, yeah? Why do you think he left you here? Because he didn't care about anyone but himself. Not even his own son. Not even for his own son. Pretty ironic that you've become just as egotistic as he was back then. Egotistic? Me? <laughs> just recently, I risked my own life to save a girl from the clutches of the Organon. Completely without ulterior motives, I suppose. You better believe it. My ass. You'll be surprised, Lotec. I will save the girl. And then everyone on this planet will realize how selfless I really am. But then it'll be too late, because then I'll already be sitting in some cocktail lounge in Elysium and laughing about you fools and how you still have to live in this junkyard. You'll see. Hmm. I can't stop thinking about what you said. That my father manipulated the planet's magnetic field. Well, get over it. Your father installed that device for a reason. He manipulated the magnetic field so he could sleep in harmony with the field lines. I can't imagine how that's supposed to work. Well, it does work. I sleep like a baby. <sighs> The only downside is that carrier pigeons are constantly crashing into my window. When does the post office open? Whenever I feel like it. I am the mayor, you know. What a stupid rule. That was your father's idea. Um, stupid, but not bad. Not, not bad at all. The girl belongs to me. Wrong. I've heard... I'm starting okay, to I think that's done? everything. I think I exhausted no, all of it. That's it. Well, then just beat it. I need to get to the assembly hall. What? Okay, well, let's see what we got to mess with. Eh, there's a little bit here. But I'm going to let the developer talk and we'll see what he has to say. Finally, we are in the mayor's office and. Um... Uh, the, of course we have to get gold, or rather we should go to the mayor, but there was this line and, jeez, uh, man, it's difficult to, to, to keep an eye on all this at once. And that's why we integrated the hint system into the complete journey edition. Uh, it's not really a hint system, so we just call it quest log to make sure I don't call it hint system, but instead use the correct term. I made this little rhyme. 
rings and jingles in my head or whatever jingles are supposed to do anyway and just to make sure to carve that into my brain uh, Gunnar, our lead animator and John, my assistant, will support me on this little song so I may never say thin system or hell system or something like that again Westlock song There's an audio commentary on the Liponia Complete Journey Edition with cool songs and one of them goes like this. I'm stuck in some shit, yeah, I'm in up to my ears. And I gotta admit that going down in recent years. I had so many noble and ambitious aims to catch. I think those goals are spoken for, but somehow I lost track. Oh my gosh. I can't really hear it. So I'm going to um, skip it. I'm going to change the uh, settings real quick. Music volume. Okay, now that music volume needs to go down. Next, please! Yeah, the music was a little bit too loud. Now let's go again. Finally, we are in the mayor's office, and um, uh, the of course we have to get gold, or rather we should go to the mayor. But there was this line, and jeez, uh, man, it's difficult to, to to keep an eye on all this at once. And that's why we integrated the hint system into the complete journey edition. Um, it's not really a hint system, so we just called it quest lock to make sure I don't call it hint system, but instead use the correct term. I made this little rhyme. It rings and jingles in my head, or whatever jingles are supposed to do anyway. And just to make sure to carve that into my brain, uh, Gunnar, our lead animator, and John, my assistant, will support me on this little song. So I may never say thin system or health system or something like that. Westlock song Westlock song Westlock song There's an audio commentary on the Laponia Complete Journey Edition with cool songs and one of them goes like this I'm stuck in some deep shit Yeah, I'm in up to my ears And I gotta admit that going down in recent years I had so many noble and ambitious aims to catch I think those goals have spoken point But somehow I've lost track And looking back I ask myself to I to cook with gas As if that's so why does it feel Like slogging through dense brown fog How can I become clear on how to smear my clogged up gear I guess I need a... <laughs> Questlock! Questlock! It's an awful thing! Questlock! Like a rescuing! Questlock comes on angels' wings, I guess I need a Questlock! How on earth did I end up so helplessly astray? And how did I get stranded? What feels light is off my way? I ran in circles trying to advance my future me. So branching possibilities I could not see the tree. Or am I still en route and every single turn out good? And if so, why does my progress feel like a downright deadlock? What would you do if your to-do list is caught in a loop? You do if your to-do list is caught in a loop. You do if your to-do list is caught in a loop. You do if your to-do list is caught in a loop. Okay. Uh, I guess I need a. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Quest Lock. 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 It's amazing. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Totally worth my time. Okay, what do we got here? One of the few long-distance radio devices in this backwater town. Why are we paying an operator if nobody's ever making a call? I know why I don't pay taxes. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of know this symbol. Yeah, that was on the that was on the chest. I wonder if that's anything relevant in the globe. Okay, let's go from one side. Yeah, let's do this. Next, please. Hmm. Guess I'm last in line. Whatever. Who could possibly succeed except for me? 
spell. What do you do? Uh, huh, he's gone. Well, never mind. Uh, what's this? A gadget that manipulates the planet's magnetic field. Yeah, this could have been my idea. Oh, no, no. Miss with it. Oh. A gadget that manipulates the planet's magnetic okay, the... field. Yeah, this could have been my idea. Okay. Okay, get rid of you then. Hmm, eh, uh, globe. Huh? What a pile of junk. Hey, that's Dad's water glass. I hardly ever saw him without it. He must have been worried about dehydration. Hmm, no, it must be something important about it. Otherwise, he wouldn't have it. Okay, no, let's keep that open so I can, I remember that's there. Okay. And the last thing to interact with is over here. There's a message from the mayor of Buzo Westfog. O O I C U R N E D O T. Huh? Either a cat was jumping up and down on the keyboard, or the operator must have gotten that all wrong. Let's see here. S O L O N G. Y O U S U C K E Damn, where was I? Oh gosh, really? I was so long, you sucker. Uh, that's what it says, you dum dum. And it says it's here. A gadget that manipulates the planet's magnetic field. Yeah, this could have been my idea. Divining rod. <laughs> the divining rod doesn't register anything. Yeah, it obviously only detects clear water. Hmm. Okay, so I got a couple of stuff. Okay, let's go in assembly hall. I suggest not to move her in this condition. What kind of condition is she in? I still don't understand. I mean, is she dead? No, no. Her body is alive and well. It's her consciousness. It's inactive. So, she's asleep? Well, it's a bit more complicated than that. I think it's related to this implant. It's broken. A consciousness implant? Isn't there a switch or something? A fuse? Maybe the contacts are corroded. That's what always happens with my intercom. I already tried everything, but this is Elysian technology. I have no idea how it's being used. I don't even have the appropriate screwdriver. So, uh, when can I finally take her home? She needs to wake up first. Okay, okay, I see. This situation needs to be resolved through a government decision. Let's do it like this. If you manage to wake her up, you can have her. And what happens if I wake her up? Rufus! You're not even supposed to be here. But I have a plan. Oh, I've heard about your plans. You never think things through. Everything you do ends in chaos, and most likely with an explosion. <laughs> we'll see about that. I warn you, stay away from the girl. Okay. Ah, ah, but Rufus! You're not untouchable, Lotech. Don't you ever forget I that. I talk to him. What if yeah, I this is practically screaming for a sophisticated maneuver. Uh... Dr. Gizmo, what now? So how do I make it report an emergency? Okay, it's, it's this emergency thing is uh, I get him to open up that lock, obviously. The thing is, how do I trigger it? Well, thanks for your time. So I'm not going to waste welcome. my time. It's going to be the same answers as before. It's going to be the same answers as before. 
Looky here, Wenzel, too. Did somebody drop food? I mean, what's the deal with the crawling around on the floor? I'm waiting for Gold to wake up so I can take her with me, of course. Ha! Huh, dream on. Although, it is true that ants can carry ten times their own weight. But why would Gold, an Elysian orbit elf, want to have anything to do with somebody like you? Duh, Rufus! You've always underestimated me. Ugh. Rufus, Rufus! Look at me. I'm a self-made man. Yeah, whoever made you must have stopped right in the middle. Oh, yeah? I am rich. I've got a water vein running through my basement. You, on the other hand, don't even have a basement. You ain't got nothing, Rufus. Hey, that's how you pay people back when they give their best? And what would I want with a basement in Kuvak? I don't belong here, and neither does Goal. And as soon as I wake her up, I will accompany her to Elysium. You'll see. Hmm. Hmm, I wonder. I'm starting to, okay, I think I need to head back into the house here. I don't want anything to do with Wenzel's stinking well. Okay, I guess that won't work. So let's try something else. He wants nothing to do with that. Uh, I can't check. There's only a furnace upstairs unless something changed. Anything changed? Nope. Just a furnace. Okay, let's go into the village then. Hmm. Wells. Wells, Wells, Wells. Wenzel has attached a protective cup. What an ego. Where am I supposed to practice? Hmm. I need to create an emergency, but the thing is, what? How will I do that? Maybe at Tony's house, I would be able to do that. But maybe I also need to fill up the balloon again. <laughs> I mean, if I don't need it, I have it. No, if, I mean, if I don't need it, at least I still have it in case I do. Which means I don't have to come back here. And this is the thing I need to get into. That's the hard part. Hmm. Divining one? But there's no water here. No surprise, it hasn't rained for weeks. Uh, turn to alleyway. Hmm. I have a class. Let's take a look at the recipe. Okay. Clear water. I need, and this is probably the car battery stuff. And this is probably going to, and this is probably going to be the liquid from the bowl. I know where this is. It's just getting, getting to it is the hard part. Hmm. Maybe I can get a hint from him. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? It's all written. Just bring me till then I'll do some. Okay. Uh, we already heard that before. About the powder. Tell me. I found a hot bean. That's a chili pepper. Yes, but it's almost bean-shaped. See, don't, don't you see? It's hot and the only fruit around. Close enough, I guess. Any idea what highly stimulating means? I have no idea. 
Maybe some kind of stimulant? Maybe Dr. Gizmo has some in his office. Oh, that reminds me. Maybe Dr. Gizmo has... That's just... You did? Maybe I'd listen more... Uh, yeah, we already heard this banter. Don't worry. Hurry up. I can't wait. Okay, I really just need a... About the uh, war. About the war. Keep it flowing. Clean water? Where can I get clean water? Clean water is a myth. Everybody knows that. My father always told me that story about how he founded Kuvak on top of a source of fresh, clean spring water. Hogwash! Your father was a bullshitter, just like you. Bullshitter? What's that supposed to mean? Someday, someone will explain it to you in detail, I'm sure. Hmm. So on top of Elysium. No, it's on, on top of Kuvak, huh? Maybe in the mayor's Don't worry. office? Don't worry. I can't wait. Maybe inside the mayor's office. I'll be off there getting all the- You do- Hmm. Ideas are starting to flow. Probably the wrong way, but they are flowing. These pipes here. Nothing. What the- What's this? A hidden compartment? Well, looks like Dad's secret will see the light of day after all. Wow! <laughs> a key. My dad knew I'd be clever enough to find it. Wow, I okay. I get for it if I melt it down. <laughs> a key. My dad knew I'd be clever enough to find it. And it does and... I get for it if I melt hmm. it down. And this key probably goes goes to this. This might be unnecessarily complicated, but I'm certain Dad wanted to make sure that I'm the only one who could get this far. Get to his big secret. His legacy. His liquor cabinet. That smell reminds me of something. Dad's aftershave lotion? Hmm. Okay. Interesting. That smell room dad's after Okay. Something's happening. I must have found clear water. Obviously. Hmm. Okay, here's my clear water then. Oops, wrong button. Sorry. Okay. Okay, recipe. Did I find the clear? No, I did not. It didn't check off. Clean water? Where can... Clean... Clean water? Hmm. I'm obviously supposed to use the booze for something, though. So we got these two things. Is there anything else? Hmm. Okay. Ah, oh, man. Maybe he'll finally give me, let me make the option for- Hello again! Hey. Rufus! Exactly. About my- Again! What was your- Okay, never mind. Forget. At. See you! Rufus! Exactly. Okay. Nope, not quite what I was looking for. Sure. No, wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second. Maybe if I create an emergency somewhere? No, no, this ain't gonna work. I already tried this. That's right. Hmm. Work. Yeah, I can do that. Hands off my stuff. I said hands off. 
Yeah, but you always say stuff. Take your feet off the table. Don't let wild predators loosen the apartment. Send medicine to Grandma. But I can't do everything at once. A and look, you don't see my feet anywhere near a tabletop, do you? Ah! Stay calm, Tony. Stay calm. Take a deep breath. I said ham. Yeah, but take oh, your feet. I was hoping you get some more look. hooks. Ah! Take a deep Okay. Okay, what am I missing for the recipe again? Stimulants. Okay. Stimulants and all the other stuff. Been there, done that. The only thing that really helps with Tony is her tranquilizer. Hmm, maybe I can prank her now? That's a great idea, and a sufficiently safe distance. Maybe outside and through the window? Through the window in the yard. Let's try it. What the? A dart? A little longer. And... I getting mad at anyway? Strike! Hmm. Now why didn't I think about that before? Hands off my stuff! Hey Tony, I'll just grab a couple of these vouchers, okay? And while we're at it, can you do the dishes this week? <laughs> I like Tony much better this way. <laughs> I was beginning to fear that her body had adapted to tranquilizers. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, I used your family pictures to insulate a weather balloon. Just, uh, just, just a moment. What? Ah. Did you mention... Weather balloons? No, 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 I said uh, vouchers. Will, will you look at those those nifty vouchers? <laughs> Keep your hands off. I counted them. Well, <laughs> that's Rufus for you. Okay, so now I got the vouchers. Uh, which I need. Hmm. Let's see what... It's probably not open yet. The post office will be up. Oh, clock. What? Oh, there's something new. Yeah. I didn't vote for him to meddle in my affairs. Wait a second. Did I vote for him at all? Or did I vote for anyone else? Ah, oh, politics are wicked. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? <sighs> but Rufus! You're not untouchable, love, don't you? E I don't actually talk to him, guys. Hmm. I didn't vote for him to meddle. Wait a second. Or did I vote for. Ow! Oh. Okay, not really anything I can do then. <sighs> Made some progress. I got the vouchers though. Usually I'd say funnels are for cow, but after my third Oh, wait a second. I'll have to stick the funnel into something else first. <laughs> and today, children, Uncle Rufus will show you how to draw blood from a full-grown bull. And uh, this is one way how not to do it. Hmm. Pretty sure I have what I need. The glass is empty. I'll have to stick the... Come 
come on. The glass is in. Yeah, no shit. Sure. I'll have to stick. I'll have to stick the. Hmm. <laughs> and today, you and uh... okay. <laughs> the bull is enraged enough. Time for a rodeo. Okay, that's not it, obviously. I doubt this will work. <laughs> Time. <laughs> nope. Time for. Hmm. It's clear why I want the um. Wanted to do this to the bull now, but. <laughs> Time. Hmm. Gosh darn it. <laughs> the time. <laughs> time. It's not working. Okay. Um. I'd rather keep it. Why does he have to lurk in my firing line anyway? Hmm. Well, I'm not even paying attention to that suggestion. It doesn't have to be siphon. My first invention was a combination of a water bomb and a stink bomb. <laughs> That's kind of obvious given the water quality around here, but still, you have to have the idea. I don't think so. Never mind. Gosh. What am I messing up? I gotta be messing up something. Well, <laughs> an accomplished matador like me knows how to bring the blood of a bull to a boil. Hmm. <sighs> I wonder what the vouchers are for, though. Hmm. No, I doubt that will work. Never mind. That was a bad idea. That was just an idea. Hmm. The only thing I have a fire right now is in here. <laughs> Maybe with this. Yikes. <laughs> Maybe with this. Yike! Hmm. <laughs> if I torch my stuff, it'll definitely build my legend. But what will I sell to my admirers? I can still recognize what it is, so... Mm. I can still rec- so... I don't like the direction this is taking at all. I don't think- never mind. I can still recognize- so... I don't have- Uh, I am lost. Okay. I gotta brew it. Okay, it's not quite what I need. <laughs> the 
Oh, the indicator's wiggling a bit. Kuvak's water only barely passes for water at all. Wow. So I can't really use that stuff then. I wonder if there's something out here. interact with uh, my ideas were shattered oh, the indicator is wiggling a bit Kuvak's water only barely passed I'm going to be back with you guys once I figure out what I need to do next, so I will be right on back. I must have found clear water, obviously. I must have found clear... Oh. Okay, so pretty much just put the booze inside the glass, gotcha. Your parrot doesn't seem to be feeling so well. Holy cow! He's completely knocked out. How are we supposed to detect dangerous fumes now? It's always the same. The warning light is the first thing to break. You can take the bird if you want to. He's useless to me like that. I got a stunned parrot. Why do I want a stunned parrot? Okay. Now I figured something out. Use the balloon on the parrot. Hmm. Look what I brought you. Another dead bird? It's not dead. It's just resting. That's what you said about the pigeon. They call it cryogenic sleep. It was a time travel experiment. In my refrigerator? Well, where else would it be cold enough? There's not much room in your heart, after all. No more dead animals. All right. I'll go and wake him up. You do that somewhere else. Hmm. So I need to get her the bird. But first, I need to wake him up. Hmm. Hmm. Come on, think, 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 think. Well, I'm stuck. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode because right now I'm going to cut it and we are going to continue on in the next episode where I am going to try to figure out how to get her the parrot by waking up the parrot by knocking him out with laughing gas that I did with, you know, knocking out laughing gas and all that, but we have to figure this out or more or less me <laughs> I might not have what I need, but anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode later